Interventional radiology is an incredible field um, and it approaches problems in a very different way to traditional methods. We utilise some of the latest developments to perform precision procedures which are minimally invasive and offer new alternatives to care that was previously not available to patients. We can do things such as open up blocked arteries, open bile ducts, ureters, all sorts of tubes. We can provide embolotherapy by blocking off non-useful arteries to shrink things such as fibroids and prostates. We can also deliver chemotherapy and kill cancers through the arteries. Particularly aneurysms, vascular malformations, dural AV fistulas, all these sorts of pathologies in the past were typically treated by open surgery where patients would have to go undergo very long uh, operations, spend many weeks in hospital post-operatively recovering from their procedures. Now we're able to offer treatments for these pathologies in a minimally invasive fashion, typically just a very small pinhole access in the artery and the wrist. They would stay overnight and then be able to go home the next day. One of the unique things about interventional radiology is that we have access to some of the latest and greatest technology. This includes MRI intervention, CT, DSA and ultrasound. And we use a combination of these to perform precise treatments which are uniquely tailored to our patients. With these imaging modalities, we're able to plan and execute our treatments um, very precisely, very safely. Broadly speaking, our procedures can be done awake without the use of anaesthetics and also without the use of operating theatre resources. In doing so, our patients will get faster access to care in a minimally invasive manner, but it will also take stress off the entire hospital system, allowing other patients to go through the system with reduced waiting times. All of this coming with a reduced cost to the health budget. Part of the attraction of interventional radiology is that there is scope to invent new techniques, to try new applications of old techniques. And that's what makes our field at the very forefront of medicine.